Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we'll be looking at the parts and dismantling process of a specific type of gear pump used in fuel oil systems aboard ships. Let's begin. This pump is driven by an electric motor and plays a crucial role in the smooth operation of these systems. The gear pump consists of several key components, including the coupling, the drive gear, the driven gear, the shaft bushes, the oil seal in the drive end of the driving shaft, the rubber sealing rings at the ends, the relief valve, the pump body, the pump suction side flange, and the pump discharge side flanges. Now, let's move on to the dismantling process. Start by removing the coupling guard. Simply remove the securing bolts to gain access to the coupling. Next, remove the fit bolts of the coupling by unscrewing the nuts. This will allow us to separate the coupling from the pump. Now, remove the securing bolts that hold the pump body with the foundation. This step will enable us to shift the pump to a more convenient working platform. Let's move on to removing the free end pump cover. Take out the securing bolts to expose the internals of the pump. Once the free end pump cover is off, carefully remove the shaft bushes from within the cover. These bushes need to be extracted with caution. Now it's time to remove the coupling. Begin by removing the coupling securing bolt, then gently pull out the coupling. Finally, remove the coupling key. Let's proceed with removing the securing bolts of the end cover that hold it in place. Carefully remove the drive-in pump cover, revealing the components inside. Take your time to ensure a smooth extraction, similar to the free end cover. Now remove the shaft bushes from within the drive-in cover with caution. Next, remove the oil seal from the drive-in cover. This seal is essential for maintaining the integrity of the pump. With the covers removed, Carefully extract the drive shaft and the driven shaft from the pump body. Let's remove the sealing rings now. Begin by taking out the sealing ring in the drive end of the body, followed by the sealing ring in the free end of the body. Now, let's move on to the dismantling process for the relief valve. Start by removing the securing bolts that hold the relief valve complete with the body. This will allow us to access the internal components. Carefully take out the relief valve from the pump, ensuring a firm grip and proper handling. Remove the cap located on top of the relief valve, providing access to the valve's internals. Now remove the securing bolts and nuts of the flange meant for the adjustment screw. Take your time to ensure a safe extraction. Gently remove the adjustment screw, which plays a vital role in regulating the relief valve's operation. With the adjustment screw removed, carefully detach the flange from the relief valve assembly. Remove the flange gasket, ensuring a clean extraction for future maintenance. Let's remove the top spring retainer, revealing the spring and valve disc housed within the relief valve. Now carefully extract the spring along with the valve disc, taking care not to damage these important components. And there you have it. We've completed the dismantling process of the gear pump and the relief valve. Remember, during reassembly, follow the reverse order to ensure proper alignment and functionality. We hope you found this video informative and helpful for understanding the dismantling process of a gear pump used in fuel oil systems on ships. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.